What's up, everybody? This is the first of many videos. You know, it's funny. This is actually the second. It's, <laughs> it's actually the second take. <laughs> the first take after watching, I was like, oh, maybe some of this. Smell, uh, like I put, I was videotaping um, some of my pictures of my friends and talking about them. But I was like, but you'd have to ask them first if can include them in your YouTube channel, right? So anyway, can't do that. But uh, yeah, basically everything that I said in that video was that um, I am a musician who doesn't know a whole lot and is kind of really starting to think about their journey and where they're going to go, uh, their vector in terms of music, right? Like what I'm going to do. And um and yeah, and I'm going to make these videos just with the goal of um, of just sharing life with everybody and, and uh, yeah, some of them aren't going to be edited. A lot of them aren't going to be edited. They're just going to be straightforward. I'm going to talk about uh, the... Uh, things that I've learned in school, uh, talk about the way that different things are taught pedagogically and um, and how the pedagogy has affected my learning in particularly or has caused certain problems for me and specifically and possibly other people too, right? Um, and so I'm going to talk about those things a little bit. I'm going to talk about just like how, how does one fit in in today's musical world and and I'm not going to talk about this, these things from experience. I'm going to talk about them from a lack of experience, which is experience in itself. Like, you know, um, once you know everything, it's hard to look at things without a bias, uh, an experienced perspective. You know what I mean? So, which is cool because a lot of YouTube videos out there, are people that already know a lot of what they're doing, they know, they just know a lot, you know, there's a lot of teachers out there. And so, but not many teachers who teach, I guess, from a, from a, uh, teach as they're learning. Does that make sense? Um, I'd say I'm a pretty good vocalist. Um, I can play chords on the keyboard. I can kind of make up ideas. I can write for keys. Um, I'm not super good at reading sheet music. I have a decent ear. Uh, I can harmonize. I can sing in different styles. At least I think I can. I can imitate different sounds, uh, whether that's like country or more poppy, classical, um, jazzy, Broadway, -y, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I got a little studio situation going on in my house, learning how to use software. Um, I'm in the middle of a, a life crisis right now. I'm trying to figure out a lot of things, really deep issues that I still don't know if I'm going to talk about that on my channel yet. Because um, sometimes you can make damage worse, you know, if you don't know. If you don't know where you're going. But I guess my intention with this channel is just to be real. And I think life is exciting. Uh, life is fun. And uh, I named my channel, at least that's this is what it is for now, uh, Awake and Ignorant. <laughs> Uh, it seems like it doesn't sound poetic. It doesn't sound whatever. It's just the first two words that came to mind because I think those are two things that I am. I'm a very awake person and I'm also a very ignorant person. I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot. And um, I have a lot of questions for a lot of questions for God. I have a lot of questions for the way that things work in general and all my answers are not. I don't think they're within my reach yet, and uh, they may never be, but um, I wake up every single day and I realize that I'm here and I always think about, I don't want to put this, I say this in a negative way, I don't think it's negative, I think it's just the truth, I think about death all the time, like every day, and not in a sense like, I'm going to kill myself, not like that, um, but more in a sense that like, um, that that's where everybody's going to end up, including myself. Um, and, and taking any religious perspective out of it, just death. Everybody's going that way. Everybody's going to experience that. 
And uh, and so I think thinking about that every day helps you to, I forget what artist said this in their song, but live like you're dying. You gotta live like you're dying. I oh. forget who that is. I'm terrible at remembering artist names. Um, but yeah, I think that's really important. And uh, I wonder if I can't, if, if I'm at a place right now where I, I can barely help myself. I, I'm going through so much mentally and emotionally that I'm like, you know, um, I, it, it's hard to function, um, but maybe I can help other people. I can be of some service by, by sharing the journey with other people on YouTube. Right now I'm, I'm pretty chill just because I, I just, um, oh, I just recorded a whole video and it was like an hour long. <laughs> Literally an hour, I was going to post it. And, uh, I don't know. I just, um, yeah, like I said, after thinking about all that stuff, I was like, Oh wait, maybe I should like rethink this out, you know, certain things come to mind. But I think this is going to be a fun journey and uh and uh it'll be cool to get unedited stuff, you know, uh unplanned, real. Does that make sense? I know we live in a world today where everybody uses filters and and I'm not saying any of this stuff is bad, you know. Filters make things look great. I mean, they do, you know. Um and uh and, you know, when you see a performance, particularly being a musician on YouTube or some teacher teaching it something, how to sing, blah, blah, blah. You don't know how many times they went through that and edited out, you know, certain takes where they messed up or whatever. But I think it's important to see all that kind of stuff. And and I think uh, one of my one of my gifts as a human being uh, is just being honest like just being just being face value is something I've always been good at since I was like a kid um and it's something that I grew into and I mean but from an early age yeah I I always was wanting to just share wanting to be real with everybody wanting to just not cut corners just at least from like a uh like a philosophical, social, relational sense. Does that make sense? I've always been, okay, here's what it is. Here's what the deal is. And uh, I think uh, my experience of the world, my worldview is is that, and it may be wrong, but I just see there's a lot that we can invest ourselves into on YouTube or on uh, in the movies, in shows, uh, and... It's good, a lot of it's entertaining, a lot of it's good, a lot of it's bad, <laughs> whatever that is. I mean, if you have an opinion, it's bad. Um, but I always wonder like how much of it isn't like real face value. And uh, I mean, again, you don't know watching this video if I've edited or if I like rehearsed this. I mean, right, if if I had like written the script and I was like acting it out, I'd, be, I'd probably be a really good actor because huh? it seems real like, to me, right? Because it is real, but, <laughs> but I know I, said that I wasn't going to post the other video and I know that that's kind of totally contradictory to everything I just said but the only reason I'm not posting it is because of literally the pictures I put in of other people um that's it because I like zoomed in on I was like here's my friend so and so look at them maybe they don't want to be on YouTube you know so uh so I took those things out but yeah um I'm gonna try and not make this any more than 10 minutes but uh a quick couple facts about me uh i love music i'm really inspired by film score music in particular i uh always wondered why life doesn't have a film score when it's so much more it's it's so much more epic than a film is it's uh it's a lot slower but yeah that's always been a question that i've always had um and i like talking in different accents i'm really crazy um it doesn't seem like it right now it's because i'm like coming off of a slope of having just recorded a video but um and i'm learning how to speak french i think i have a pretty good french accent because i've been learning it since i was in fourth grade off and on but a lack of discipline means that my vocabulary is terrible my grammar is terrible but i'm watching uh bay fm tv right now to learn it all the time the news and uh and yeah so we awake we laugh this is going to be a fun journey, and I 
I'm totally procrastinating right now from figuring out my schedule for next semester.